All right, we're a little uh, farther on with the uh, blunt nose FPV wing project. What I've done here is uh, uh, because it's a prototype, and I'm not really looking for it to make it indestructible. I'm just using a quarter, quarter by quarter spruce in as spars. Uh, I've done that in wings before. It works fine. It'll, uh, it'll, it'll handle. There's no problem. Uh, you might not be able to do a combat maneuver and fly it straight into a brick wall without uh, suffering damage, but that's not what I'm looking for. So, anyways, I put these spars. It's they're two inches from the leading edge back. Uh, I didn't bring them in to meet on this side um, because they're not flexible right so I just brought them over the seam and cut them off once I get the layout of where my batteries are gonna go and stuff I'll probably put another spar uh, either here or in front of this to tie this all together ideally what I would like to see is another one going across somewhere it's about there but we'll we'll wait until we get the layout of the batteries and stuff so I've just got this uh, glued in and I've got some pins just to hold it in place while it's setting. Actually, I'm using something that's uh, probably a little odd to most of you, but it's a, it's a spray foam. Uh, you can get it for insulating houses and stuff for cracks. It's expandable spray foam. It works, uh, it works almost exactly like the Gorilla Glue product where you smear it on and, and get it wet. I was just looking, I had a bottle of that around somewhere, but uh, it, but you don't have to m mess around with it so much. Just, I just sprayed in the crack. I was going to videotape it, but it was just kind of too much hassle. So I just run a bead in the hole and I cut the holes out with my soldering iron. Uh, I run a bead in the hole and then just stuff the dowel into the hole and then just smear it around and of course it'll expand any voids that aren't there or they are there will fill up and uh, it makes it really rigid you'd have a hard time getting that back out again these spars are already dried in uh, they're done there's spars uh, on the other side but I haven't done the middle yet so let me just take a quick I just don't want to set it down because it's got glue on it but See those spars are in, and I could bring that to a point because it's more of a flat bottom, but I didn't put the spar through the center on yet. That's I'm just gonna wait till the sun dries. So, anyways, that's a look at it. Uh, once I get these spars in, I'm gonna sheet it with or cover it with uh, laminate film, and then then I'm gonna cut the elevons out and the motor area out. And that's about it for now.